Those stand for less and equal or less than. Uh, so less and equal would be including the value and less than would be everything under the selected value. And GT and GE are the same just with the word greater. So greater or equals or greater than respectively. Okay, so that value and up or etc. So since we want that value and everything under it, I'm going to choose LE. And then over here, we're going to need the field that we're going to be filtering by. So in order to find that, we're going to reference our databases over here inside of the code panel and our cars collection. And specifically, we're doing this based on the model year. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our code and as a string inside of quotation marks, I'm going to put over here model year. The last piece of the puzzle that we're going to need is the actual value of the slider. To get the value of the slider, uh, we have two ways that we can do that. So first I'm going to create a new variable to store the value of the year. Uh, then we can either select the slider like this. So slider year slider, and then say dot value. Specifically inside of an on change, we also have the option to tap into the event itself and get the value using the event dot target dot value. Uh, the advantage of doing it this way is because it'll make our code a little more reusable. Uh, but if we're really just building out this one specific feature, then there's no harm in doing it this way. Uh, once we have the year, we can go ahead and put it right over here. So I'm just going to write here year, and that's it. So our filter is set up. So now when we move our slider, it should filter our car's data set uh, and respectively our repeater so that we only see cars from that certain year and lower.